sometimes I just make a tweet and kind of tag Marvel's editor in chief or whatever and remind them that their quote commitment to diversity and inclusion is really just bullshit aimed at uh, virtue signaling for like 0.05% of the population and telling normal parents who want to buy comic books for their kids that they're really not welcome here and trying to gaslight normal people into thinking that they're bigots for not wanting to sexualize children or children's books. It's kind of a bizarre thing that they've gone that far, but this is where Marvel's at these days, is where DC's at these days. And I want to make a change. And so I've consistently talked about this since I came on the scene, and we'll get into it in a second on how I'd like to make that change. I don't think Marvel will do anything, but we'll talk about it. All right, my name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author, award-winning comic creator, and if Marvel had any sense, they'd hire me to write their great stories. I can tell fun superhero stories. I can tell awesome science fiction epics. You can put me on Batman. You can put me on the Fantastic Four. Uh, you know, it'd really do wonders for their brand, but they're not about comics these days. I am, however, and I'm trying to create something new, something different. I'm making my own universes. If you want to support Christian representation in comics, great way to do so is to go on my subscribe star. Subscribe, help me pay for the art to make these comics every single month for you. I appreciate everybody who's on there, and I appreciate everybody who's going to continue to be on there. It's good stuff. All right. The one thing we won't do is uh, is Marvel Voices Pride. So yesterday I made this tweet, and I said, Dear C.B. Sabolsky, he's the editor-in-chief of Marvel Comics, since you're so invested in representation, I would like to pitch my editing a Marvel Voices Christianity Anthology for Christmas, and I'll get Christian creators like Aaron Lepresti on board. We'll highlight Marvel's commitment to celebrating the Christian faith. Now, of course, C.B. Zabolski won't do this. There will never be a Christmas anything for Marvel anymore. You might have a holiday book, quote holiday. What holiday? We don't know. But it'll be a holiday, a generic one. And uh, that'll be what exactly we get. But they're really, really down to push this. Again, these weird agendas for like growing even crazier niches of people as they push, you know, what do we got now? The new trans X-Men, uh, the first pride celebration in, in Asgard with all these Asgardian people or whatever. They, they keep pushing this, which doesn't even make sense if you get into Norse mythology, but we're, uh, whatever. I'm not even going to try to rationalize or make a logical story out of something that's clearly just a virtue signal uh, to try to, I guess, sell to pride parades rather than uh, try to sell to people who actually read books. But really, if they had that commitment to like including everybody, they would include Christians. They would include white people. They would include men, boys. They just don't uh, because they want to exclude as many people as possible. That's the irony of all they do with their inclusion. I talked about this the first time back in 2016, and I made a list of every single Marvel writer who was coming out with a book that month. And this is actually how I got on the map, is what kind of made me semi-e-famous. As I wrote this on my blog, and every single person on Twitter who worked for Marvel as a writer had a disparaging tweet about Trump or Christians or Republicans, every single one. There wasn't even one who was silent. There wasn't even one who was apolitical among the entire deal. They were all hyper-political and pushing, of course, this. This is why we get this, uh, that thing that no customers want, that no comic readers want. Uh, but they've got this as their full representation 100% of the time. They don't have any Christian representation or uh, conservative representation. They really don't. And so I, I mentioned that, and I made a little joke at the end of my blog saying that, you know, hey, Marvel, you know, if you want this, I'm a professional writer. I'm a, I've got a fan base where I've got a number one bestseller. I mean, this could go somewhere. Hire me. I'll, I'll take care of the representation on this end. And I'm offering it again. And uh, this time, not just with myself, you know, Aaron LaPress, he's a great Christian guy. Uh, he'd come on board. I know that. Uh, Graham Nolan, great Christian guy. He'd come on board. Get a, a beautiful group doing this uh, for Marvel Voices Christianity. And it could be a real thing. People would actually really enjoy this. Can you imagine like a Daredevil book where it actually celebrates his Christianity for once rather than just being a, a crisis of faith? I'm not even sure I believe anymore. I mean, that's what the, that's all the non-Christians at Marvel. That's how they know how to write. It'd be awesome. But we're never going to get it because these people hate you and your families. They want to groom children into perverse lifestyles. And that's all it's about. When they say diversity and inclusivity, it's not ever about that. It's just about perversion. And that's it. All right. There's my idea. There's my pitch. 
<sighs> but at least we've got my books. We don't need Marvel anymore. Come join us. Come join the fun. And we appreciate you. Leave a comment down below. Would you like to see a Marvel Voices Christianity book? I think it'd be a lot of fun. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.